Fitch Ratings warned that it could strip the U.S. of its top credit rating and downgrade the country's credit rating by the end of the first quarter of next year. According to the Wall Street Journal, even if the Congress reaches a short-term deal, Fitch says the budget impasse has undermined confidence in the effectiveness of the U.S. government and its economic policy. Fitch is only one of the three biggest credit rating firms. Standard & Poor's does not expect to change its rating, and Moody's also indicates a downgrade is unlikely. PepsiCo Incorporated reported a higher than expected profit for the third quarter due to stronger sales in its Frito-Lay snacks. According to the Associated Press, PepsiCo receives more than half of its revenue from food. In its beverage unit, revenue slipped as higher prices failed to offset a 4% volume decline. Some shareholders are urging a spin-off of the beverage unit. In the third quarter, PepsiCo earned $1.91 billion, or $1.23 per share. That compares to $1.9 billion and $1.21 per share a year ago. Twitter has chosen the New York Stock Exchange for its much-buzzed-about IPO and has selected Friday, November 15th, for the date. CNBC reports that tech companies have traditionally listed on the NASDAQ, but recent glitches and the disastrous Facebook IPO have made more companies think about the New York Stock Exchange. The roadshow to determine pricing is set to kick off on October 25th. The actual date can remain somewhat fluid. Underwriters may choose to launch the IPO a week earlier. The stock will be traded under a ticker symbol TWTR. Reporting from Millionaire Corner, I'm Heather Kiley. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.